Hi everyone, welcome to our channel. In this tutorial, we will show you step by step how to create this scene and its night version using SketchUp and Illustrator workflow. Since we'll visualize a community garden, we only placed a greenhouse like structure. We'll hide the trees. We can add better looking ones in Illustrator. We'll export to separate PDFs. First, we hide the environment and go to File, Export and select a D graphic. Select PDF and click Export. Then you can unhide the background from the Edit menu. Now, we'll hide the structure and export to D again. Lastly, we'll add shadows. Click on the shadow symbol. Then you can play with the sliders until you find an angle you like. Then, to export shadows only, you'll need to go to View, Edge Style, and uncheck edges. Go to View again. This time uncheck the profiles. Then you can export as PNG. Now we can move on to Illustrator to illustrate the scene. We'll start with adding new layers and renaming them. Then go to Strokes panel and choose Round Cap and Round Joint options. Adjusted the line weight and then we'll change the artboard size. To split these excess parts, select the Shape Builder tool, then click on them while pressing the Alt key. This will be our color palette. It has soft pink and coral tones. First we'll change the background stroke color to a softer gray. Then we'll use the Live Paint Bucket tool to fill in. Go to Object, Live Paint, Make. To color every surface in a group, while the Live Paint Bucket tool is selected, click the group three times. To edit the group you'll need to expand it, then ungroup it twice. The gray looks dark. We'll choose a color closer to white. This part will be a schoolyard, so we are separating it from the rest. Then we'll quickly define the paths in the scene. In architectural representation we tend to avoid using single lines. When you add offset lines, the level of detail increases. Now we'll live paint the structure into a maroon shade. We'll move on to live paint the rest. Background buildings looked a bit dull, so we color the windows gray. It is a little time consuming, but we think the result is worth it. We'll add tiles to pads. It is very easy to copy the lines with dragging them while pressing Alt key. Then you can select all, click on the shape builder tool and erase the excess parts while pressing the Alt key. We'll repeat the same steps for the sidewalk at the front. Now we can add vector trees. For this drawing, we prepared a pack full with everything you'll need. It has architectural brushes and patterns as well. The link is in the description box below. We'll add the trees into the background layer. Now let's add architectural patterns. We'll use grass, earth and stone pattern swatches. These patterns are fully customizable. To edit them, go to Swatches panel and click onto the Edit Pattern button. From there you can change the colors, delete some parts of the patterns, adjust the strokes and so on. We've created a less busy version of the Earth pattern. Now we can move on to filling the schoolyard with playing kid vectors, and maybe some parents as well. And don't forget to add some trees, kids need shading too. We added a new layer for the vector blocks.
You can also use Shape Builder tool on vector blocks to erase the excess parts. Now, we will quickly add raised garden beds using Illustrator 3D and Bevel tools. We'll draw a rectangle, then go to Effect, 3D and Materials, 3D Classic, Extrude and Bevel. From there, you can adjust the angle and depth of your 3D shapes. We expand the shape it to be able to edit it. We copied the first one, but the perspective doesn't match. To fix that, you can use the free transform tool. We'll choose free distort and adjust the angle. We add outlines and offset again to give a depth effect. We always use the offset path command from quick actions panel, it is very useful. We'll match their colors to the palette, and our raised beds are ready. It is that easy. Now we copy them again and match the angles to the rest with free distort. We'll add different grass and earth patterns inside. You can also combine different patterns to add layers. We'll add grass pattern along the wall and sidewalk edges. Now the patterns are complete, we can go ahead and fill the scene with furniture, vegetation and people vectors. Our vegetation blocks are also customizable, we erase some parts to combine it better. These grass vectors will add depth to our scene. We can also create brushes from them. Drag and drop the grass vector block into the brushes panel. From there you can choose scatter brush. We'll only change the size parameter, minimally. Then you can click OK, and your brush will be ready. Select the paint brush tool and draw with it. It's an easy and quick way to fill the scene. It works best with ivy type blocks. This time, we'll choose the art brush. Experiment with it to find the best options for your design. It's very fun to draw like this. As a final touch, we'll add string lights above. And don't forget to add the shadows as well. For the shadows, we use multiply blend mode in the opacity options. Lastly, we'll create a clipping mask. It looks cleaner this way. And just like that, our first scene is done. Now we can export this as JPEG and then move on to the night scene quickly. For the nighttime version, we'll be removing the kid vectors since it will be past their bedtime. Instead of kids and families, we'll be placing late night dog walkers, joggers, street musicians and some maintenance workers. Don't forget to add stray cats and dogs wandering through the crops. 
We'll delete the flying birds and add starry sky instead. We are creating this night sky by quickly editing the sand pattern and scaling it. Lastly, we'll be deleting the light sources, since we are going to add the lighting effect after we apply the night filter in Photoshop. Now we can export the scene as JPEG and open it in Photoshop. We'll first change the hue and saturation of the image. Since it's warm colored now, we'll decrease the saturation to zero. Then, we'll apply a photo filter. We've chosen the deep blue one and played with the density slider. Lastly, we highly recommend you to play with brightness and contrast. It makes a big difference on the overall scene. Once you're okay with it, you can go ahead and export as JPEG again. Now, back in Illustrator, we'll be copy and paste the lights into the night version. We match their color to the scene, yet color the light sources white. We'll show you one last tip, adding light effect with the gradient tool. Draw a triangular shape to represent the light rays. Go to gradient and apply linear gradient. Rotate at 90 degrees. Choose white for both color sliders. Then, lower the bottom one's opacity to zero. You can also lower the top one's opacity a bit as well. It already looks great, but we like to add a Gaussian blur effect from the effects menu. We'll adjust its radius and it's done. Now apply the same steps for other light sources, or you can simply copy and paste the first one. And that's all for today's tutorial. Which version do you prefer, day or night? Feel free to share with us in the comments. Until next time.